Welcome back. Well, as we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic closed schools all across the country, and it's likely many summer programs will be affected too. Teachers and parents don't want their kids to miss out on this important time for expanding their minds. So joining us now to introduce us to a breakthrough educational series from PBS Kids is called Hero Elementary, is the co-creator and executive producer. It's Carol Lynn Parente. Good morning to you, Carol Lynn. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for joining us this morning. Let's talk about this new show um, that really brings these science backed experiments and ideas to kids to continue learning. Yes, I'm so excited that Hero Elementary it's launching nationwide on PBS Kids today and it's really aimed at kids four to seven to give them all the tools they need to solve problems. And we know that the world could use a few more superheroes right about now. And the wonderful thing is that science is actually a big part of how superheroes solve problems and save the day. So what kids learn when they tune in to Hero Elementary is that they have superpowers too. It's something called the superpowers of science. And it includes the power of observation and investigation and making predictions and testing them out. These are powerful problem solving tools that all kids can use. And Hero Elementary shows them how to do it. I love it. And I, I remember, you know, as a young kid loving science experiments and, and learning about all these things. I think a lot of parents and caregivers are, are really tired with doing the at home schooling. And I would love if you'd share some tips on how you can get kids engaged in that screen time learning. Well, when it comes to screen time, quality is really important. And parents are really the heroes these days, jumping in and appreciating all that teachers do. Uh, I'm, I, and I know science can be a little daunting for parents, but I'm here to tell them it could not be any simpler to help foster this interest in science for their kids because it's really just as simple as asking questions. Our teacher, Mr. Sparks at Hero Elementary, he returns every question the kids ask with a follow-up question. So it's that simple because asking questions is the foundation of scientific discovery. So parents can encourage kids to ask questions and then let them explore for evidence to answer those questions, create a science notebook and, and journal their answers they find and the information they track. And it's as simple as that. And even just using everyday objects around the house, you can you can ask, make a prediction of will an apple sink or swim? Kids can make the predictions for themselves and then go test it out. I love that. And I love that you're mentioning these sort of do at home activities, because I do think that hands on aspect is what gets kids learning and loving STEM technology and ideas. And so talk a little bit more about some of those do at home activities that that really do engage the parents and the kids in what they're learning. Well, the whole mission of the show is to get kids to actively do science. So to get out there and explore the answers to their questions. And then there are wonderful resources. There's pbskids.org has wonderful games, some Hero Elementary games around science and STEM. And then there's also um, pbskidsforparents.org. It's another wonderful resource that gives tips for uh, activities and and content that is uh, not just on STEM, but on all other early learning topics. And it's sorted by age and subject matter. So there's something there for everyone to get kids excited about learning. I love it. So those are great resources. Where can everybody go for more information? You can head to pbskids.org slash Hero Elementary for more information. Thanks for joining us, Carolyn. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely.